Scotland and welcome to the 26th International Air Display held at Le Bourget on the 19th and 20th of June 1965. On first arriving, our cameraman took a look round the static park. First off, we saw the American naval fighter, the Phantom. Next, the Convair Delta Dagger, an American Air Force fighter, capable of speeds up to Mach 2. Another view of the Phantom, a fighter used by the American Navy. This is capable of Mach 2 and is on order for the British Navy. The Republic Thunder Chief, an American fighter bomber. And behind the Thunder Chief, a Crusader of the American Navy. The Crusader is being phased out with the introduction of the Phantom. To the rear of the Crusader, we can see a Vulcan of the RAF in its new low-level camouflage scheme. A vigilante of the US Navy. This is a high speed bomber which is unique in having a bomb bay which ejects through the rear between the jet pipes. The American T 39 Sable Liner, a light executive jet transport used by the American Air Force and also civilly. Another view of the Sable Liner showing the rear mounted jet engines a feature becoming common in many light aircraft today. A mock-up of the American Skyhawk trainer. The Skyhawk fighter is in use by the American Navy. At present, no trainer has yet flown. The Grumman Hawkeye, a shipboard early warning aircraft. The flat dish on top houses the radar scanner. Next to the Hawkeye is the Grumman Mohawk, an STOL frontline observation aircraft which is fitted with SLAR an airborne type of radar which can be seen in the torpedo like object hung under the fuselage. A rear view of the Grumman Mohawk. Another view of the Grumman Hawkeye. Yet another view of the Skyhawk trainer mock up. A rear view of the trainer mock-up, in the rear can be seen the Aerospace Pavilion. A mock-up of the French proposed 
Birdtown BC8 hovercraft. A rear view of the Grumman Intruder, a shipboard strike aircraft used by the US Navy. A side view of the Intruder. This is a twin seat, twin jet aircraft, capable of speeds up to Mach 1.5. A mock-up of the Nord 500 experimental vertical takeoff aircraft. This aircraft flies by virtue of the ducted fans which are seen in place of wings. Now a view of the IL-62, a Russian airliner used by Aeroflot, the Soviet national airline. Next the Transal. This is a Franco-German aircraft and has been ordered by both the French Army and the German Army. The Dassault Etendard, a fighter used by the French Navy. It is also a shipboard strike aircraft. The Mirage 3R, a French reconnaissance aircraft, this one seen in colours of the Swiss Air Force. The Italian Piaggio 166, a light transport powered by two pusher engines. It is used both civilly and by the Italian Air Force. A nose on view of the Swedish J-35 Draken fighter, an aircraft capable of Mach 2, which at present equips most of Sweden's fighter arms. It also doubles as a light bomber. A view of the Marquis M-326B, an Italian light trainer. It's seen here in Alitalia colours, the Italian national airline. A rear view of the French Mister 20, or Fanjet Falcon as it is called. Another view of the Marquis 326, and in the background a Fiat G91, a lightweight NATO fighter. The Cessna 175, a light executive aircraft. A view of the Swedish Lansen fighter, one which is rapidly becoming obsolete. The Mirage 3C, French fighter, which has also been ordered for Australia and Switzerland. A view of the Fiat G91 lightweight NATO trainer. This aircraft is in the colours of the Aero Brigata Aerobatic Team of Italy. The Cessna 411 light executive aircraft. Next to it is the Cessna 210. Then there is a rear view of the Aero Commander, another American light executive aircraft. This aircraft is a Czechoslovakian one, the Z-37 Kumlak. It is an agricultural aircraft mainly. 
another view of the Aero Brigata G91, and then a mock-up of the Piaggio Douglas PD-808, which is being manufactured in both America and Italy. This is a mock-up which has no wings. A view of the American Iroquois helicopter. This is one used by the American Army. Another view of the American Mister 20. This aircraft is also powered by jet engines at the rear of the fuselage. A view of both the Bolco Junior and the Bolco B207. The 207 is the one on the left of the picture, now being seen. Next, the Junior. This is a lighter aircraft than the 207. A Beach Bonanza. This aircraft is fairly unique in having a V-type tail. The American Husky helicopter which is used by the Air Force and Navy for rescue. The American OH-6A light observation helicopter. The American Sioux Helicopter. A view of the Swiss Pilatus Porter, like communications aircraft. The French Sioux Frelon Helicopter, seen here in civil colours. A view of an army and then a navy super frelon. The naval is the one on the right of the picture. A beach super marquee in the foreground and in the background a French Bretagne. The Russian IL-18 coat, a turboprop airliner. The American F-104G Starfighter, seen here in Canadian Air Force colours. It has also been ordered by many of the NATO countries. It is at present being manufactured in Europe and Canada as well as the United States. The Potes 840 light feeder liner. This aircraft is experimental and has been flown in several forms with differing engines. Another view of the Breton. This aircraft is now getting rather obsolete but still used by the French Air Force for light duties. A Pilatus Turbo Porter. This aircraft is powered by a turboprop engine as opposed to the ordinary porter which has a radial engine. The British Beagle 206 Bassett which is used both civilly and by the RAF. The Tupelo TU-104 Camel a jet airliner on European service by Aeroflot. Now a rear view of the camel, which is under the wing of the famous red giant AN-22.
Now, a rear view of the AN-22, the largest aircraft flying in the world. Another view of the classic seen earlier. This aircraft has its four jet engines mounted on the rear of the fuselage. Now a view of all the Russian aircraft at the show, surmounted by the AN-22 with the camel in the foreground and the coot to the right. In the background can be seen the classic spin and rudder. The British HP-326 experimental aircraft, which is a blown flap research type. The American Cessna Skymaster 336 light executive aircraft. The Russian flying crane, the Mi-10 Hawk. This is the largest helicopter in the world. Next to it, the Mi-6 Hook. And next to these two, their small stable mate, the Mi-8 Hip. This is a small turbojet powered helicopter for domestic routes by Aeroflot. The Dania DO-28 light aircraft taxis out. This is a German light communications aircraft, unique by its engine mountings. The British Hawk Siddeley HS-125 Domini, seen here in RAF colours. It also flies civilly. Here is a civil Domini, in German markings. A British jet provost of the Red Pelican aerobatic team. This aircraft is primarily used for a trainer. Inside the aerospace pavilion, we saw a model of the proposed Concorde. This is part of a British-French alliance to build a supersonic airliner. Near it, we saw a French Caravel model. Now a general view inside the pavilion, showing the stands of some of the main exhibitors. The British Jindabyk pilotless target aircraft, which is used for testing missiles. Outside can be seen the static park. A model of the proposed dinosaur aircraft. This is an American project for a manned space bomber. This aircraft will have a suborbital flight. A model of the Hiller XC-142A and after it a model of the Fokker Fellowship.
A view of the General Dynamics F111A. A model of the proposed Saab J37 Viggen, which is to replace the Saab Draken in Swedish service. Another view of the Viggen. A view outside the space pavilion showing the Convair Atlas stood up and in the background laid down the Titan missile. Some of the smaller American missiles which were also on view outside the space pavilion. The Agena space probe. British Bloodhounds, which were on show by the RAF. The Consolidated LA-4 Amphibian, which is under license building by the Lake Company of Aera. And now a view of several aircraft of the Beach Company. In the foreground is a Beach 410. Behind this can be seen a Mirage 3E. The American Cessna 210. A view of the Piaggio Douglas 808 mock-up. The American Learjet light jet transport. This aircraft is powered by two rear-mounted jet engines. Another view of the Hart flying crane. A view of the Hook, which is the world's largest commercial helicopter. This helicopter is in service with Aeroflot. A view of the MI-8 hip, and in the foreground, a North American Mustang, a veteran of the Second World War. This aircraft flew in civil colours. A general view of the aircraft parked on the other side of the main runway. The short Belfast, which is in used by RF Transport Command. 
the Transal Franco-German freighter, the Avro 748 on the left. The Tupolev Tu-134, a rear-mounted jet aircraft from behind the Iron Curtain. A lucky jet star, Hawker Sidley Domini. The Nord 262 and the Pote 840. The Argentinian Garani 2 transport. The Piaggio Douglas PD 808 and the Aerojet Commander. aircraft scene was the Sikorsky S-58 helicopter of the United States Army. Now we have a view of the AN-22 and beside it several other Russian transport aircraft. A French light aircraft, the Moine Jupiter. This aircraft is twin engine, having one engine in the nose and one engine in the tail. This aircraft is powered by two jet engines mounted on the fuselage. Now the American Aero Jet Commander, also powered by engines on the fuselage. Douglas PD-808. This is being built both in Italy and America as a joint venture. Next, the Lockheed XH-51A, a helicopter which has jet engines mounted on the fuselage and stub wings. This gives it cruising speed of an aircraft whilst retaining a helicopter's vertical takeoff characteristic. transport, the twin-engine Garani 2, an extremely manoeuvrable aircraft.
the granny is seen here flying on one engine only. French twin engine transport, the Nord 262. Orders have been placed for this by the French Air Force. It has also been sold to civil operators in Europe. Protez 841, a four-engine French feeder liner. This is a development of the Protez 840. There is also a further development, the Protez 842. All these three types differ in engines only. The Hawk Sidley HS125, a light jet transport. This has been ordered by the Royal Air Force and by several civil operators. The American Jets our transport. This is similar to the HS125 except that it has four engines. This is in service with the United States Air Force. The French Mystère 20. The French Frelon helicopter. This is in service with the French Navy. The French German Transal. This is a freighter being built both in France and Germany and being ordered by both French and German armies. Lockheed Starlifter, a jet transport designed to replace the Lockheed Hercules. An American B-58 Hustler bomber. An American Phantom Fighter. And an American Skyhawk, a light shipboard bomber. The fly pass by the Phantom. The Skyhawk again. The Northrop F-5 Freedom Fighter, an American light tactical aircraft. This has been designed to operate from rough airstrips. 
which is also extremely cheap to produce. A Mirage 3B, the trainer version of the Mirage 3 fighter. V, the vertical takeoff version of the Mirage fighter. This is powered by eight Rolls-Royce engines. A Mirage 4 light bomber takes off. A fly pass by the Mirage 4, which is in service with the French Force de Frappe. This is the equivalent of the RAF's V bomber force. The 3B flies past again. Followed by the Mirage 4. Fly past by Mirage Falls, followed by Mirage Threes, Mister Four A's, and Voltours. The British HP One One Five, an experimental aircraft. This has been built for research into low speed characteristics of deltas and another stable mate the mil mi-10 the mi-10 is a flying crane version a slow fly pass by the mi-8 Followed by the MI6. The French Magister trainer. Italian Fiat G91 trainer. This aircraft crashed on the edge of the airfield after a brilliant aerobatic display. CL-41 jet trainer. An American Kalman Husky helicopter taking a fire extinguisher to the wreck.
an Italian Mackey MB326 jet trainer. Westland Wessex of the Navy trailing smoke. The Naval Scout also trailing smoke behind it. An Army Wasp helicopter. An Army Whirlwind helicopter. Naval Scout. A wasp. Two Wessexes, one in Army and one in Naval colours. A Scout. All five Westland helicopters. And now the Nats of the Red Arrows aerobatic team. Lightnings of number 56 Squadron, Royal Air Force, the Firebirds. These are Lightning F3s, led by Lightning T4. Drakens of the Swedish Acro Delta aerobatic team. The Russian TU-134 jet transport. Drummond Tigers of the Blue Angels aerobatic team of the United States Navy. Super Sabres of the Thunderbirds aerobatic team of the United States Air Force.
transport is still where it was on the previous day, surrounded by other Russian transport aircraft. A caravel of the Scandinavian Airlines system, and behind it Viscount of BEA. The French Provence transport. DC-6 Cambrian Airways starting its engines. An American Strat Cruiser Transport. the American Stratolifter transport, with the Provence taxiing behind it. A Russian transport, the AN-24. This was followed by an AN-12. Both these aircraft are in service with Aeroflot.